And now at noon, people across the state of Florida looked up into the air this morning to see a bright light streaking across the dark sky. Was it a plane, a shooting star, a meteor, or was it possibly a UFO? Let's find out. CBS 4's Walter McCullough is here to explain the spectacular show in the sky. Walter? Well, Elliot, this was not a common sight to see. An out-of-this-world light stretching across the dark sky. But as you'll see, it was actually from this world right here in the state. It wasn't a bird nor a plane, but it was super, super incredible. At 6.20 this morning, this image was snapped. It was the first of many we received. We also received several video clips, like this one from Greg Nassau in Sunrise. Lighting up the night, a bright white streak dashing across the darkness of the early morning sky. People getting an early start to their morning were wondering what's going on. Here's another video with the camera zoomed in closer taken from Maggie Pena in the passenger seat of her car while her husband was driving. You can see here why some people thought we might be being visited from beings of another world. We received dozens of photos from viewers. One, two, three, four different views here for different opinions and stories of what they thought they were looking at. Carol in Boca's picture looks like a comet is going to come crashing down on us. Joel sent us this photo with the caption, a pic of the meteor we witnessed this morning around 6.20 a.m. And while many of us here in South Florida were seeing a view similar to this spectacular video shot by Carol Bancroft, where it appears a giant orb of light was floating across the sky, further north at Cape Canaveral, this was what was happening at the launch pad of the Kennedy Space Center seconds before 6.18. Three, two, one, zero. The Atlantis Atlas V rocket blasted off with a Navy satellite attached to it. The satellite will be used to help out with ground communications of U.S. forces on the move. The Atlas V rocket was first introduced in August of 2002. Now, for more information on the rocket and this morning's launch, you can find the full story on our website, cbsmiami.com. Live in the newsroom, Walter McCullough, CBS4 News.